Viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It is CSKA Moscow facing Shakhtar Donetsk. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage. And fed forwards. So we can check on the lineup today. A standard 4 4 2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Stepanenko just cutting off the supply this is what they'll be up against today what do you think about this particular setup well strikers like support and they've got support today in the number 10 they've also got three midfield players behind two slightly wide and one just sitting in front of the back four and give it away for any goalkeeper corner awarded corner kick played in crucial intervention just then amid impending danger Fedor Chalov Ndiaye and Chalov now well real difficulty keeping the ball well that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again and providing width. And Chanov now. Firing it towards goal. The opportunity was there, but he got it wrongly. Well, even I would have scored there. He's had an absolute nightmare. It's with Matt Vienko. It's with Marlos. Junior Moraes. Marlos. Couldn't keep it. position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here not giving him a moment's peace it's with Marlos it's with Kriftsov it's with Tyson and moving the ball nicely Konoplyanka top-notch tackle and Shanov now And that's an important intervention. And giving them the gift of possession. And threading it forward. Is it going to be? And a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. The opening goal of the game then. Bianca must score well somehow the goalkeeper got to it and he's fired over the corner now what can they do from here what a vital intervention it's with Matt Vienko it's with Tyson Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Firing is in. Still alive. Stepanenko. A very good tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. You've got to keep the... And he's made headway. Big chance it is. And there it is. The goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. So 2-0 now.
Ilicic with his smiley. Others in the vicinity. Stepanenko read it superbly to take back possession. The ball with Magnusson. Akhmetov. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Unable to keep the ball that time. Konoplyanka. Chance to reduce the arrears. Can they slot it home? So half time it is in this battle for Europa League glory. And who would have. for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway it's with Kriftsov it's with Tyson Konoplyanka Marishev and Vlasic Ndjai and Chanov now wonderfully weighted pass it's there for him an important challenge, but they must from it. It has to be. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. Polofienka. Dangerous-looking attack. And on the ball, Vlasic. Now they've lost it. Is this the moment? And now he must score. And this time, it's in. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Was in the right place to intercept. Alan Zagoev. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. There's a slide draw pass. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. A free kick, and the keeper took it cleanly. It's with Matt Vienko. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Good numerical situation. Marlos. Terrific block there. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Tyson. Konoplyanka. Here's Zagoev. And on the ball, Vlasic. A good and fair challenge. Marishev. Junior Morais. Possession lost. And Shanov now. And he takes on the shot. What a vital intervention. So the corner played into the box. Punching it clear. Firing it towards goal. High echelon goalkeeping there. He's driven in the corner. And that's an important intervention. And Chanov now. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. Can he put it away? 
Well, that is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's had an absolute nightmare there. The goal's in front of him. Just hit it. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. And it's with Kovalenko. An awful lot of green space to run into. Slipshod passing. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, that is, will it be? Well, fortune didn't favour him. Off the post and out of play. Well, he's really unlucky. It was worth an effort, that's for sure. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Tete. Viktor Kovalenko. A bit sloppy in possession. What can he do from here? And he takes it on. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. And a half-baked clearance. Has a go. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And he was in the right place to intercept. Konstantin Kuchayev, Christian Bistrovic, and just the one minute left in normal time here. And it's with Kovalenko, and the final win.
To bring you coverage of tonight, it's the final of the Europa League. It's Sporting against CSKA Moscow. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. Akhmetov. Here's the lineup for Sporting. They've given it away. The opposition starting 11. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Felipe. It is a decent looking attack here. Vieto. Vieto. They've won back possession. They'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Fedor Chanov. And Vlasic. Christian Bistrovic. Akhmetov. Is it going to end up being productive for them? It's with Akhmetov. Vlasic. And threading it forward. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. A punch-happy goalkeeper. And dispossessed. Felipe. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Luis Felipe. Regained possession. Fedor Chalov. They look as though they want to make this move count. Are they going to forge ahead? Really digging in at the back. But still the opportunity. Jovan Cabral, Dumbia, giving them the gift of possession. Vlasic. Surely! Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Corner kick played in. It's his glove on it. Alan Zagoev and Shanov now might be able to set up the chance the end product just wasn't there in possession Mendel room to manoeuvre on the wing and very deftly cut out Jovan Cabral with it it looks promising well, possession seeded. And Vlasic. And Kuchayev has it. Couldn't keep the ball. Give it away. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? Very good challenge. And firing it into the area. It's one corner after another. And over comes the corner. Ndiaye. Zagoev. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Vieto. Can they get themselves in front here? Oh, right in the nick of time. Konstantin Kuchayev. 
This could be an interesting avenue. He's given it straight to the opposition. Couldn't keep it. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Cutting infield here. It's a weighted pass. Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened. Well, they're back in it, and you can. Well, I have to say, we're disappointed that. The quest for Europa League success, and the second half of this final is underway. It's with Akhmetov. Christian Bistrovic. At times they make passing look easy. They've regained possession. There's a slide draw pass. Ngiai. Taglia, Dumbia. Now they've lost it. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Well, great read there to intercept. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Rendell. Jeremy Mathieu. Bataglia. Tauti defending to win the ball back. Fedor Chanov. Excellent vision. Just unable to take advantage of that. And now waiting to pounce. Celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. So there we have it. Two, one. Luciano Vieto has it. Now let's see what they can do here. Options in the centre. Will they get themselves level here? Rifled against the post, but back in play. Giving them the gift of possession. Well, Derek, I thought that was all level, but can't get any closer than that. Zagoev. Konstantin Kuchayev. Couldn't hang on to it. Bataglia. Effective challenge. Taglia. Felipe. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, they continue their push for the... And it might be... Oh, he's missed it! Oh, goal behind, Derek. And he's missed. It's a big miss. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Zagoe, Fedor Chalov, Vlasic. And a throw in forthcoming. Possession lost. And scope for them to produce something exciting. An important interception. Vlasic, by no means on his own here. Will it be? And 
absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Over it comes. A really disappointing effort, you've got to say. Well, he's way, way off target. A real poor effort with his head. Eduardo Enrique. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Big chance to get them on terms. Can they slot it home? And you don't want to lose possession there. And very deftly cut out. Well, goalkeepers live a charmed life at time, but that was just brilliant. Really, really good goalkeeping. Fedor Chanov. Given away. Mario Fernandez on the ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Real danger. It's got to be! Absolutely nothing wrong with the counter-attack. Just a shame about the finish lane. Well, it does show you what they're capable of to hit the team with pace and power. Just lacked a little bit of composure, Derek. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Vendel. Spora. Enrique. And now they have the ball back. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Useful-looking ball. The fourth official has indicated... They failed to get it away properly. Two minutes. And just the one minute left in normal time here. He's running towards goal. Still alive. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. And the final whistle.
Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Sporting and they face Dinamo Kiev. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final. And a chance for them to notch in front. Touched on to the woodwork. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Luciano Vieto has it. Promising sequence. Easy meet. He's given it away. This is what they'll be facing today. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Acuna. Luciano Vieto has it. Running with the ball confidently. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. He's in with a chance. And favouring power over subtlety, he's hit the woodwork lead. Well, eight yards to aim Matt. He's missed all eight of them. Vitaly Bujanski. It's with Verbic. Did have the ball, but not anymore. Dumbia. Jovan Cabral. Alert defending. And on the ball, Shaparenko. And Sigankov has it. Mikola Shaparenko. Now, what can they do from here? And the cross is very much on. Being pressed and pressed high. Jovan Cabral with it. Luis Felipe. He's taken on his opponent here. Vitaly Bujanski. Nazari Roussin with it. Will he play it in? In position to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, it's off the post. Well, I suppose, Derek, technically that's as close as you can get without it going in the goal. Oh, and does he? Wow, does he react? What a save that is. Over it comes. Now he must favour the cross. Fruitful looking attack. Nazari Roussin with it. Dumbia. Jovan Cabral with it. So tight this game. Who's going to break the deadlock? Be brave, be a hero, take chances. Vitaly Bujanski. And he's taken it away. And scope for the cross. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Breaking at pace. It looks promising. He could pick out a teammate. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Mikola Shaparenko. And Sigankov has it. The ball with Sidorchuk. 
passing it around with aplomb. A real opening now. And they march in front. Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, it seemed like just a matter of time before they scored. Delicate, incisive play has done the damage. 1-0 then. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Jovan Cabral with it. Vendel into the advanced position. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, I have to say, we're disappointed that has come to an end. A thoroughly watchable first half in this... The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Given away. Battaglia. Felipe. Battaglia. And on the ball, Shaparenko. It's with Verbic. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Mikola Shaparenko. The ball with Sidorchuk. Running with the ball confidently. Shot attempted. It's all about the technique, that's where the power comes from, blistering shot. So, 2-0 now. And oh, the pass not finding its target. It's with Mikolenko. Vitaly Bujalski. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Jovan Cabral with it. Coates. Jovan Cabral with it. Dumbia. By no means on his own here. Luis Felipe. He's managed to lose his marker. A chance to make a game of it here. Unable to find the back of the net and still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he probably surprised if he scored from there, but it is worth an effort. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. It's with Verbic. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Useful cross towards the near post. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Jovan Cabral with it. Rob them. And a chance for him on the flank. He has time to play it over. Dumbia. Vendel. A bit of running room now on the wing. 
He's beaten his man. Crossing opportunity. Is this the moment? No real threat, you've got to say. Serhi Sidorchuk. Vitali Bujalski. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Kenziora. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. It was a fine-looking attack, but now they've given the ball away. Jovan Cabral. Mikola Shaparenko. It's with Verbic. Options in the centre. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Intense pressure. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Jeremy Mathieu. Enrique. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Verbic. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Serhi Sidorchuk, Tomasz Kenziora. The ball with Sidorchuk, Sigankov. Well, that is how to play advantage. Eduardo Enrique, Luis Felipe. Enrique. Bolassi. The flag is up. Clearly offside, Lee. Well, it's really easy to stay on side there. Artem Shabadov. Vitali Mikolenko. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Coates. Dumbia. Now Yannick Bolassi. Dumbia. This might have potential. Can he make it count? Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Oh, this might pay dividends. And the final whistle...
Donetsk. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. Enjoy the game. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Here's the lineup for Sporting. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. This is what they'll be facing today. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. They've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide, and one just sitting in front of the back four. replay comes off the keeper and he's every right to ask where his defenders are they were second to react and he's in the back of the net a chance to revisit the goal the opening goal of the game then the attack continues they're making considerable progress and here's Idrissa Dumbia run it magnificently and intercepted It's with Tyson. Madishev. It's there for him. An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. On the ball is Mathieu. Here's Bataglia. Well, great read there to intercept. Marlos and the emphasis is on creativity delightful pass and that's the end of that for now and providing width Vieto Set to go for it wins the ball Matvienko. Marlos. Just cutting off the supply. Stefan Ristovsky. Slipshot passing. Fine play to keep control of the ball. Losing possession a bit easily. Vieto. Vendel. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good looking move. Marlos. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Excellent vision. But he's hit it with far too much height. Well, he's quite a long way out, and if you put power on the ball and just lean back slightly, it's going to rise, and that time, over the bar. Madishev. Pretty good reading of the game to win possession back. 
Battaglia. Acuna. Spora. And that's an important intervention. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Now he must favour the cross. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Ismaili. It's with Ismaili. Stepanenko. It's there for him. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. He's driven in the corner. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Given away. Stepanenko. Half time, and from the neutral point of view, a cracking. The quest for Europa League success. And the second half of this final is underway. Manishev. It's with Ismaili. On the ball, Konoplyanka. Extremely sloppy in possession. Tyson. Tyson! A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Kriftsov. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Konoplyanka, Konoplyanka, and up for grabs off the keeper. In possession, Mendel. Luciano Vieto has it. Mendel. And a chance to level it. And a goal! And what an important goal in the grand scheme of things! Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. Even Steven won a piece on this match. It might be on for them. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And the free kick, not far off at all. Technique, just look at this technique, and he's inches over. Moving forward effectively. Well, his opponent bamboozled. And you don't want to lose possession there. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Losing possession here. Spot on with that tackle. Oh, a lovely ball. Possession changes hands, the interception there. And a throw-in it's going to be. Read it superbly to take back possession. I must say, this looks promising. Not a good pass.
Marcos Acuna. Attaglia. He must finish. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. For the host. Coming off the pitch. Number 10, Luciano Vieco. To be replaced by number 89. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Over it comes. It hasn't come to very much. Coates. Bataglia. Beautifully timed. He's got space. Well, great read there to intercept. Bendel. And here's Idrissa Dumbia. Real danger. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Can they take the lead here? And they notch in front! Well, fabulous celebrations. They've got their noses in front, Derek. Can they stay there? Well, 2-1 it is here. with Tyson on the ball Tara Stepanenko and it's with Kovalenko Ismaili can they switch to an even higher gear he's had to go for it wins the ball and a throw in forthcoming will he play it in Stepanenko, it has to be, it wasn't far away from the target lead. No, it was decent, really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Substitution time it is. Konoplyanka, well he had to read it and get there and did. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. All hands on deck. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Giving the ball away. And the final whistle. The cut.
has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Sporting and they face Kent. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. Luciano Vieto has it. Possession changes hands, the interception there. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. The offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming what can he do from here textbook defending inside the box Vieto Marcos Acuna Jovan Cabral Sven Coombs with it. Owusu. Gadu, Gadui has it. Jonathan David. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Gadu, Gadui. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Chance. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Corner kick played over. Not all that convincing defensively. Pools. Vendel. Vieto. Dumbia. Well, great read there to intercept. Sven Coombs with it. Might be able to produce from this position. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Insufficient accuracy with the header lead. Yeah, he got there as well. It was all about could he get it on target, but when you see how far he missed, wow. Luciano Vieto has it. In possession, Mendel. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Will he finish? There it is! How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. The opening goal of the game then. Not a good pass. It'll go harmlessly through to the goalkeeper. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Holmes. Jonathan David. They couldn't maintain possession. A good and fair challenge. A wonderful intervention.
Dumbia. In possession, Mendel. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Well, he's lost it. A bit sloppy in possession. Here's Marcos Acuna. Spora. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Castro Montes. Giving them the gift of possession. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum. Of it's got to be! Well, the post getting in the way there. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Half time, and from the new. The quest for Europe. And the second half of this final is underway. Gadou Gadjui on the ball, Igor Plastun. Castro Montes. Jacques Vitanze has it. And that was a very fine read. Here's Bataglia. Spora. Bataglia. Bataglia. Can he make it count? Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Here's Bataglia. And now they have the ball back. Slip short passing. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. So now a corner. Over it comes. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Staunch rear guard action. Bendel. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Bendel. Now, let's see what they can do here. What can he do from here? Is it going to be? And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Chakratanse has it. David. He has plenty of support. Can he finish this? And the goalkeeper will see that as part of doing his job. And the corner kick for the referee's verdict. And it all counts for naught. Here's Bataglia. Vendel. Spora. Luciano Vieto has it, and the emphasis is on creativity. Crossing possibilities. Bataglia. And he did what he had to do defensively. And offside it is. Gadou Gadjui has it. David. It's with Ojija Ofoe. Castro Montes. And it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Spora. Jovan Cabral with it. In possession, Mendel. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Sven Coombs with it. Jack Vitanze has it. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Spora. 
Jovan Cabral. This looks promising. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. And given away. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Jacques Vitanze has it. Useful looking ball. And the attack fades out. Acuna. Here's Bataglia. Spora. Maneuvering his way forward. Might be a chance here. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. And a second goal for them here. And possession lost, intercepted. David. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Not really the ideal clearance. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten, goes where it did do. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Indicated there will be a minimum. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Dumbia. Sporar. And that's an important intervention. And the final whistle, the cup issue is set. Celebrate.
A special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight. It's the final of the Europa League. It is Shakhtar Donetsk against CSKA Moscow. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. So we can check on the lineup today. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Surely, and a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. The opening goal of the game, then. Purposeful attack this, the emphasis on getting the ball forward. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And the shot was always rising. Goal kick. Not looking confident in possession. Tyson. And here's Marlos. And Scott for the cross. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Konstantin Kuchayev. Krivtsov. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Stepanenko. Marlos. And it's a quality pass. Still alive. Well, great read there to intercept. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And here's Zagoev. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. Matvienko. Ismaili. Mavishev. Tyson. Marlos. Konoplyanka. Ismaili. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And Shanov now. Excellent vision. This looks promising. Can he put it away? Routine, really. Promising looking ball. Well, it's a poor chance to level it a case of foiling the opposition by whatever means and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here Stepanenko Manishev on the ball they've regained possession Vlasic. And that's a defender you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. The 
attack continues. They're making considerable progress. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. And Shanov now. This attack looks highly promising. An important interception. The referee has decided that two additional and threading it forward. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, I have to say, we're disappointed that has... The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Alan Zagoev. Obliakov. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. And Vlasic. Tremendous ball played through. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. It's with Ismaili. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Tyson. On the ball, Konoplyanka. Read it superbly to take back possession. Pass lacking precision, too strong. Stepanenko. Matvienko. Marishev. was in the right place to intercept on the ball Tara Stepanenko it's with Tyson Marlos a good and fair challenge this might be ideal for the counter Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Marlos. And a very good challenge. Zagoev. Akhmetov. It's all about translating threats into goals. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. It's with Marlos. This might have potential. Stepanenko. Konoplyanka, and here's Marlos, and a goal! And what an important goal in the grand scheme of things! Well, it's the sort of determination and desire that's got them here. All the momentum is with them now. So, a level contest, 1-1. Zagoev, and on the ball, Vlasic. Alan Zagoev. Now, let's see what they can do here. And Shanov now. Can he put it away? Defending of the highest class to stop him. Ismaili. Manishev on the ball. Junior Morais. And Kuchayev has it. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Konoplyanka. And the ball's gone. Only ten minutes remaining here. 
Akhmetov. And Shanov now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, he's given it away. They all know their roles as they... And it's a quality pass. Textbook defending inside the box. It's with Marlos. It's with Tyson. Far from a good pass. And do they mean business on this occasion? Oh, it's a penalty! And what an opportunity for them, perhaps, to win it. Well, it had to be a penalty and a booking part of the story as well. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? The fourth official that is and winning the ball to boot. Minimum of two minutes of added time. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances. Difficulties for the goalkeeper. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. And the final...
Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It is CSKA Moscow up against Sporting. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Good visualisation and execution. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he was being very closely marked, but the header not on the target. No, just off target. And the thing is, the defender did his job, and he just couldn't quite get enough of his head on it. A look at the starting 11 today. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system product or not routine really well it petered out here's the lineup for sporting a chance maybe from the wide position oh, goodness he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team Taglia. It's all about translating threats into goals. And a chance for them to notch in front. Well, he failed to deliver that time. Kirill Nababkin. It's with Akhmetov. Fedor Chalov. Vendel. Dumbia. He has plenty of support. It's with Akhmetov. I must say, no shortage of space. A chance to whip it in. Konstantin Kuchayev. Is this the moment? There it is! How about that? starters well what a huge moment that might be for this club the fans are going absolutely wild so the match has restarted 1-0 here good looking sequence cutting in what can he do from this position textbook defending inside the box now well, the pass not finding its target and surely Very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Plattered away. Firing is in. Staunch rear guard action. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And Vlasic. Zagoev. Well, that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again. Oh, a nice-looking pass, and he's found a bit of daylight. Well, the post getting in the way there. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Akhmetov. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level in this one, Derek. It was a great effort. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Teammate in support. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, Derek, you, me and everybody in this ground thought that one was in. It was so close. Woodward saved him. Vieto. Top-class defending. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. He's given it away. Vieto. Can he get them level? 
just drifted into the illegal position offside in the opinion of the officials Alan Zagoev Vlasic I must say this looks promising and here's Idrissa Dumbia a sloppy pass Dumbia Vieto will it be oh can you believe this just when it looked as though the door was locked it's been reopened well they're back in it and you can hear the relief with their fans game on so a level contest 1-1 has decided that two additional minutes are in order wonderful tackle and that's an important intervention a chance to whip it in illegal play and hence a free kick well, straight into the meat of the penalty area Bataglia, alert defending. Half time and from the neutral. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Jovan Cabral with it. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Alan Zagoev. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Now, just couldn't keep himself onside. Christian Borja. Acuna. Borja. Here's Bataglia. Vendel. Useful-looking position, you've got to say. Well, his opponent bamboozled. Vieto! A very attractive looking move, easy on the eye, but nothing there. And the counter looks on here, options available. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Acuna, he's found a pocket of space. Fedor Chalov. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Can they get in behind them? Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, it's off the post! Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. It will go down as an own goal. Well, let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time. And they were always my fault, got blamed for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Well, that own goal has put them behind. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Ndiaye. Possession lost, intercepted. Vieto, Vendel, Marcos Acuna, and very deftly cut out. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. An important interception. He has time to play it over. Obliakov, Akhmetov. It did look on for them, but not to be. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? End product or not? Space on the flank. It's opening up for them. Might well be scope for them to counter attack here. 
Konstantin Kuchayev. There's a slide draw pass. That's all they can conjure for now. Battaglia. In possession, Vendel. Acuna. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Counter-attacking very much an option. Zagoev. They've won back possession. Stefan Ristovsky. In possession, Vendel. Luciano Vieto has it. And Shalov now. And on the ball, Vlasic. So a throw in here. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Bataglia. Marcos Acuna. And threading it forward. And will it be the leveller? Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, that's an interesting pass. it late but they're back in it Derek you're right drama and it's level again here both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle Obliakov we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes couldn't hang on to it Luciano Vieto has it Oh, that's very smart defending it up. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra...
It's Dinamo Kiev up against Sporting. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. In possession, Vendel. Vieto. A look at the starting 11 today. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Here's the lineup for Sporting. They do pass the ball with authority. Options in the centre. An authoritative challenge. Dangerous looking attack. It's there for him. There it is. How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. The opening goal of the game then. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Battaglia. Vieto. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Mikola Shaparenko. Excellent defending. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Oh, just over the top with a nicely played free kick. Well, he'll have practiced that time and time again on the practice ground. Just over. Nazari Roussin with it. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Vieto, masterful piece of foiling. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Sigankov. It looks promising. They've regained possession. Found a pocket of space. A very good tackle. Kenziora. Space on the flank. Showing patience. Look, intelligent threaded pass here. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, right in the nick of time. Vendel, not a good pass. And the emphasis is on creativity. Nazari Roussin with it. Shot attempted. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Vieto couldn't keep the ball. Roussin. It's with Verbic. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Jovan Cabral with it. Vieto. Going well. Oh, he's through here. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered.
Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. And on the ball, Bujalski. Berbic. Vitaly Bujalski. Rusin. Cross fired over. It comes to nothing. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. And the cross is very much on. And Sigankov has it. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. In possession, Vendel. Bataglia. Vieto. And slipped through beautifully. Well, not quite. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Corner kick played in. Well, punch happy, the keeper. Bataglia. And that was a very fine read. Vitaly Bujalski. Well, visionary passing. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. Oh, what a wasted opportunity that is. And providing width. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. So the corner played into the box. Popov. It's with Verbic. A very attractive looking move. Easy on the eye, but nothing there. Vendel. Luciano Vieto has it. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. A glorious chance. Well, it's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Dangerous looking attack. Giving it a try. And a goal! No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Christian Borja. Borja. On the ball is Mathieu. Dumbia. In possession, Vendel. Vieto. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. A possession lost, intercepted. Marcos Acuna. And in with a real chance was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation well high fives all round for the goalkeeper absolutely fantastic and over comes the corner well that's the end of that for now on the ball is Mathieu read it superbly to take back possession And Ristovsky has it. An important interception. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Stefan Ristovsky. In possession, Vendel. 
Vieto. Chance, Vieto. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. The ball with Sidorchuk. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Passing it around with a plum. The cross is on. And in it goes! A perfect header! Exactly what they were looking for. Well, sometimes goals happen on the training ground before the game. I'm sure they practice this. Great movement, great cross, perfect goal. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Here's Marcos Acuna. Must score! And it's gone in! So the current scoreline, 4-2. Cunha, Dumbia, now they've lost it, what can he do from here, he must finish, not the easiest of situations for the keeper, well he's given a corner, they referee, well first rate goalkeeping, oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that, that's brilliant, well, just couldn't keep the ball, Marcos Acuna, will he finish? He'll be cross with himself based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Crashed out a little bit, went for power. No hiding from the fact that that was a very poor effort. Oh, look away right now. Look at that. Absolutely awful effort. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Given away... And just the one minute left in normal time here. Promising looking ball. Vieto. Goalkeeper's ball. And was always going to be. And the final whistle.
you get here. Enjoy the game. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponents. This is how the starting lineup looks today. What do you think about this particular setup? Well, strikers like support, and they've got support today in the number 10. They've also got three midfield players behind, two slightly wide, and one just sitting in front of the back four. Here's the lineup for Sporting. We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Well, he's lost it. And threading it forward. It could be the big moment for him. And a goal! The first of the contest. Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. The opening goal of the game then. Jovan Cabral with it. It's with Krivtsov. It's with Marlos. He's feeling the pressure here. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Christian Borja. Acuna, Vieto, there's Marcos Acuna, real chance, he's got to score, and in it goes, it's going their way, 2-0, with Matt Bianco. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Possession lost, intercepted. Bodies forward and the break looks on. There's so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them. And given away. Well, his opponent bamboozled. A glorious chance. It really is such a free scoring performance just nothing the defenders can do about it seemingly well, they're underway again and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago it's with really Ismaili run it magnificently and intercepted Taglia, Dumbia, just not looking confident in possession. Marishev, Stepanenko, Junior Morais on the ball, Konoplyanka, and scope for them to produce something exciting. They do pass the ball with authority. Will he find the net? And a goal! No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Mathieu. Coates. Jovan Cabral. Space on the flank. Crossing possibilities. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Dumbia. And that is how to thwart them. Counter attacking very much an option. Ismaili. Stepanenko. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Luciano Vieto has it. Vieto. 
chance, Vieto. Well, that's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Promising sequence. Bataglia. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Marlos. Konoplyanka. Oh, a nice looking pass. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Number 15, The first half draws to a close in this UEFA Europa League final. And let's face it, Lee, this... The quest for Europa League success. And the second half of this final is underway. Dumbia, Vendel, Bataglia, and a chance for him on the flank, Bataglia, and they've won possession again, Junior Moraes, Konoplyanka, and the attacking options appear plentiful, and this would reduce the deficit, on his own with only the keeper to beat and still he's missed it well he had one thought power he should have thought composure Bataglia Junior Moraes well, you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that and Ristovsky has it Vendel Bataglia Can he make it count? His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick fully deserved. Well done indeed. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Dumbia. He's got the right idea with that pass. Into the advanced position. He's taken on his opponent here. Back from the byline. Terrific block there. And given away. Junior Moraes. Failed to keep hold of it. In possession, Mendel. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Given away. Vieto. The possession lost, intercepted. It might be. Pivotal moment defensively. It's with Tyson, and very deftly cut out. Vieto, well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Wonderful tackle. What a shocking pass, really. Bataglia, he's had to go for it, wins the ball. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Oh, they've lost it. Working really well as a team to regain possession. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And a substitution in the offing. Mathieu. And Ristovsky has it. Jovan Cabral with it. Oh, a nice looking pass. Still possibilities. 
well, how many goals are we going to get? The chances are just coming thick and fast. Defensively, they're all over the place. Can they make them pay a little bit more? It looks like they can. Tyson. On the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Stepanenko. Cross played over, but no one can latch onto the ball. Junior Morais and fed forwards. Keeper didn't quite do enough. Not a good pass. Nothing wrong with that idea. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. He's taken on his opponent here. What can he do from here? Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Manishev on the ball. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. Oh, he's through here. And the ball is in the net. Crowd. Quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Number 10. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Madishev, untidy in possession. And only two minutes remaining here. Malyshev on the ball. Stepanenko. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. And that was a very fine read. Maneuvering his way forward. Vieto. And the final whistle.
It's the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon, and with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's Kent up against Sporting. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition, a Champions League place is available. So we can check on the lineup today. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Might be a chance here. And a goal! The first of the contest! Oh, well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. 1-0 then. Full control of the ball here, and options in the centre. In possession, Mendel, Acuna, Vieto, read it superbly to take back possession. And very deftly cut out. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Bataglia. He must finish! Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. The fist of the goalkeeper. It's opening up for them. And he's beaten him here. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Obusu. Holmes. Well, high marks for that pass. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. Dumbia. Vieto. Tremendous ball played through. Must score! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Played into the centre of the box. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Whatever it takes to... And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Castro Montes. Ojija Ofoe. They couldn't maintain possession. Owusu. Far from a good pass. What can he do from here? He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Over the touchline for a throw-in. They've regained possession. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And fed forwards. Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. Vieto. And that was a very fine read. Is it going to be? Read it magnificently. And thumped away. And breaking at pace with Menace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Stefan Ristovsky. Jovan Cabral in possession, Mendel Vieto Bataglia Vieto intelligent threaded pass here but it's come off the keeper and he did what he had to do defensively 
Jonathan David. This attack looks highly promising. Big chance to get them on terms. And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. Dumbia. Jovan Cabral. An attack full of promise. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, they really should have a two goal cushion. Well, he can't believe it, Derek. What a wonderful opportunity. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. Shaq Vitadze has it. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Borja. Pataglia. Vieto. Dumbia. Well, that's very smart defending. Half time and from the neutral. The quest for Europa League success. And the second half of this final is underway. Pataglia. Borja. Dumbia. Stefan Ristovski. In possession, Vendel. Vieto. The outcome is a goal kick here. Castro Montes. And he was in the right place to intercept. Dangerous and showing fine vision. And it's played into the centre. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? Owusu. Running with the ball confidently. Options in the centre. Castro Montes. Sven Coombs with it. And that's an important intervention. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Marcos Acuna. Will he find the net? Keeper's contribution, but what next? And putting his body on the line. Well, they say goalkeepers are a breed apart. He's just kept his team in it. They'll be getting pats on the back for that. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Vieto. Targets available. Cross comes in. And it's gone in! The teams have separated. Now, you cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, a second goal for them here. Tatsi has it. Gadou Gadjui. He has plenty of support. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Marcos Acuna. Pataglia, and he's broken free. Still possible. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. So 20 minutes to go. Chakvetadze has it. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Acuna. In full control of the ball here. And options in the centre. Vieto. And that completes an impressive hat-trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hat-full. 
Luciano Vieto. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. And here's Idrissa Dumbia. And clears his lines. Luciano Vieto has it. He's in with a chance. Well, fortune didn't favour him. Off the post and out of play. Well, he's really unlucky. It was worth an effort, that's for sure. Substitution time it is. Owusu. Or Gigia Ofoy. Couldn't keep it. Marcos Acuna. And he's made headway. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Vieto. Eduardo Enrique. He takes aim. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out in there. Absolutely amazing. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. The fourth official and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, he's lost it. Well, you've got to savour such moments. And the final whistle.